Hey brethren, this be a quick video. Be covering Psalm 27 and just have um, a few, I guess you could say, um, comments and prayer requests for some of, some of the brethren we've been fellowshipping with. Anyways, let's do it. Turn in your King James to Psalm 27. I filmed a few um, the Psalm videos outside, and I'm thinking I'm going to get back into that you know, uh, when the weather's fair. They seem they seem to be. I, I guess the bit I enjoy reading them outside. Is what I'm saying, but. It just seems, seems seems to fit with the Psalms. All right, Psalm 27 in your King James, verse one. It says here, it says, "The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell." Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though a war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing, I, one thing have I desired of the Lord, that will, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, and the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Just to stop real quick, brethren, it's important, you know, to have that joy and sing godly songs and hymns to the Lord. You know, it's it's important, and that it feels right it feels good you know lifting up the Lord in prayer and and song I mean and prayer yeah but that's nice and we'll, we'll be doing that up in heaven amen all right verse 7 it says hear O Lord when I cry with my voice have mercy also upon me and answer me when thou saidst seek ye my face my heart said unto thee thy face Lord will I seek hide not thy face far from me Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me. O God of my salvation, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. You'll have a lot of people forsake you in this life. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelly. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. It's just a wonderful, excellent, excellent song. I mean, they all are, but that one really spoke to me today. So, thank you for following along. I just uh, just want to say, I'm not going to say too much, but I know a lot of the brethren I've been interacting with have, have been struggling with different things. So I wrote down a name, a list of a few names. I'm sure there's plenty more. But uh, if you're watching, brethren, you know, I pray the Lord you know, you know strengthen you and give you that peace. One brother in particular, you know, has, I follow his channel a little bit on and off just to see how he's doing. I guess he's having um, a rough go of it. So uh, just consider brother keeping uh, brother Aaron in prayer. You know, he certainly needs it. And we all got struggles and sanctification issues and just it's bound to be. So Pray for Brother Aaron. And there's two other brothers, the two Matthews I interact with. 
You know, I pray for them too. They have different situations and struggles. So I just pray the Lord bless them and, you know, provide what they need. Same thing with another younger brother and brother Justin. And my friend there, Brother Hartley, pray pray to you. His situation gets resolved and has some peace of mind where he's at. And there's many more brethren that could use some some lifting up, I suppose. But my recommendation is, you, you know, brethren, just bring your struggles to God. Honesty is the best policy. If there's a certain besetting sin, bring it to God and He'll help you through it. It's a sanctification. It takes time, but, you know, it's, it's not easy. You know, the flesh, the world, the adversary, not easy. So I just pray in Jesus' name that uh, they have their needs met. Jesus' name, God will provide. And just a couple more verses, and I'm going to shut shut the video off. A couple more verses to consider. Turn in your Bible to First John five. First John five. Verse four and five. First John five, verse four. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? Amen. So this video is just mostly for the brethren, and you know, I certainly need the prayers too, brethren. And It's not always easy, but our victory is in Jesus. He's won the war, but uh, we still got our battles. That'll be it for now. Pray you all have a good night and keep each other in prayer. God bless you.